Welcome to this last lesson in this series for beginning trombonists. My name is Sean Bell. I am your instructor today. Today we're going to put all the stuff we learned together and learn our first song. Um, we're going to learn When the Saints Go Marching In. This is a great beginner song to learn. It only uses our first five notes that we learned in one of the past lessons. So let's review a few things before we jump into this tune. Okay, to start with, let's review our first five notes. We know we have a B flat in first position, a C way out in sixth position, a D in fourth, remember your top of your slide is going to be about even with your bell. An E flat in third, the brace is going to be just inside the bell. And then an F in first. Those are the only five notes we need to know for this song. There are some rhythms involved here. We haven't really talked about that in these beginning lessons. Um, but those notes will at least get you started. The second thing that I want to review is a little bit of our articulation. Um, this song, we're going to play all with our straightforward to or do tonguing. And so remember, we want to think that our tongue is touching the top of our mouth or the roof of our mouth right behind our teeth that is temporarily closing the airway. And then when the tongue goes down again to say the vowel sound, the oo, the air is going to move. So we're going to think it's touching the roof of our mouth and then the air moves. The air is always in the on position. It's waiting there right behind the tongue for the note to start. Okay, cool. That's a little bit of review. I'm going to play this entire song and then we're going to talk about how we might practice through a song um, to make sure we're using that practice time efficiently and effectively. So let's check it out. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Now, there is the entire song. Let's talk about how we might want to take that apart to practice it. The main thing we want to think about here is breaking this into chunks. This is probably the most important practice technique that you can learn regardless of what um, ability level you have, whether you're a beginner or an advanced musician. The biggest part of your practice time is probably going to be breaking the song into chunks, maybe a measure, two measures, possibly four measures that you can manage, working through it a couple times, and then putting those chunks together. So let's check out how this would work. Let's take the first two measures and play that chunk. <laughs> Now that two measure chunk, you're going to see that that repeats several times throughout this song. The next two measures are the same notes, same rhythms. The next two measures after that are almost exactly the same. It does have some things a little bit different. And then later on in the song, it comes back in the last line. So we've got to take advantage of that and look for that repetition to make things a little easier on us. Now, once we've gotten a couple reps on those two measures, let's start putting it together. So let's put the first four measures together where we have that same figure repeated twice. Now, if we look a little bit later on in this song, we're going to go to the third line. We'll see that we have a few more half notes in this section. We have a couple rests and a couple different rhythms, but we might be able to take this chunk in a four measure chunk. Um, depending on how difficult the music is, um, how many slide positions you have to figure out, how fast it is, you're going to have to determine whether you need to start with a one measure chunk, maybe even only a half a measure chunk, or whether it needs to be a little bit longer chunk. So here is a four measure chunk. This is the third line. Now, many of these phrases start on a rest. This one has a two count rest to start with. So do make sure you're counting those rests. They are just as important as the notes that we play. <laughs> And again, we'd want to get a couple reps on that and then put it together back with the rest of our piece. Okay, now that we have worked through some of our chunks and chopped this song into little pieces, let's try to put it all back together. I'm going to play the whole thing one more time. I'm going to go a little bit faster this time. I've gotten a couple practice, you know, sessions on it here. I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm going to go just a touch faster. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Now, 
Now, once we're feeling really confident on the notes that are on the page and we're feeling a little bit adventurous, we can try to change this a little bit. Maybe change some of the rhythms, possibly a few of the notes. This is what we might call a New Orleans jazz tune. And a little bit of improvisation where we kind of make it up as we go along is common in this style. So let's see what that would sound like. I encourage all of you on the music that you're playing as a soloist to think about ways to be creative. Now, in this song, we could change a lot. In some of your music, you're only going to have control over maybe the dynamics you play, maybe the articulation you play, maybe how much vibrato you use. We didn't talk about that in these lessons, but that's an important thing for all musicians to work on. Um, these are the things that connect the listener to us, not just write notes and write rhythms, but how we express the music. And it's important we always keep that in mind. All right, great. Hopefully, these lessons have given you a good start about how to get going on the trombone. Hit that subscribe button to make sure you stay in touch with this channel because I'll be posting new lessons each week. Some of it will be for beginner players, some of it for advanced players, but it's all going to be great information for you as you get going playing trombone.